Hi, everybody. So, continuing inventorying on wing pieces. Kind of been a little bit disjointed trying to figure out exactly where these, which one of these videos I have or have not been able to upload lately. But, uh, oh yeah, that's right. It's the bag of fasteners. There it is. You know, you get the empanage kit. You just, you're so ready to go. You're so jazzed up. Everything is great. And you get this big, huge, dense wad of paper bags and plastic bags with rivets and nut plates and all kinds of stuff in it. You, it's wonderful and you count through it and then you realize geez I just spent five hours sorting 5,000 different screws and uh. anyway let's just say by the time you get the wing kit it's a little bit different now I'm not saying I'm burnt out I'm not saying any of that all I'm saying is as I'm pulling pieces out and I'm showing them to my uh, neighbor's father who was helping me at the time He's like, oh, those are the those are part of the ribs, and I just sighed. I was like, no, that's 35 hours of deburring. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, just this is just an unpacking video and just counting. Oh, one thing I you will see I'm doing right here is, so I had been keeping all of the rivets in the original bags, and they'll be marked with a four-digit code, bag 1101 or or 1115. And that's fine, um, but when the plans call out for specific rivets, you you know you have to know the bag code, which is ridiculous because rivets are rivets; they don't change. There are, as you can see in that baggie over there, uh, the ba the giant bag sitting on the desk. There's a whole bunch of paper bags, and those contain various small hardware pieces, and usually in very specific combinations: eh, small metal brackets. Uh, bags with very specific screw and nut combinations things like that those bags can I, I leave all that kind of stuff in those bags but if I have just a bag full of say uh, AN 426 83-5 rivets uh, there's no reason for it to stay inside of bag 1006 uh, it's it's a 3-5 rivet and always will be and you use those a lot so I've reorganized my uh, fastener organization and what you saw uh, the little drawers that I put out there uh, I just put uh, masking tape on the front of each drawer and used uh, blue sharpie for 426 and used red sharpie for 470s so now whenever I need because the plans just show the size you know you need three dash four and a halfs here great there's the drawer for it I don't have to look it up for the bag or memorize what the bag number is because it changes from kit to kit uh, the only bag there was only one bag that had the exact same number from the empanage kit to the wing kit and it was at that point that I realized I really needed to do a reorganization so that's just a little a little hint with the reorg uh, now, of course, the bags that those rivets come in still have their original bag number on them. Uh, so if you leave out a bunch of bags, unless you can eyeball a three versus a three and a half, and you will right, when you start this, uh, sometimes you can get a little confused, so I write them on the bags as well. And yes, I keep the rivets in the individual bags, because when your little storage unit over there against the wall you pull out a bag and god forbid if you'd have just emptied the bag into the drawer and then the drawer fill, spills over yeah, I don't even want to think about it so here's the next day of inventory and let me tell you there's a reason I've got that door mostly shut uh, one it was nice because it actually gave me an opportunity to point the camera towards the front of the hangar uh, without it just being completely backlit but two uh, we just had a nice high pressure wave come across San Francisco, and it was hot. I mean hot. Uh, that day I was in the hangar, I believe it was 98 outside, with about 10% humidity. So you didn't actually sweat. It was like being back in Vegas, and I hate Vegas. The next day was about 106. It's torture. So, uh, by this point, by the time you see this, I'd already done all the low-hanging fruit. 
And I'm just talking like bags with weighed rivets because you don't have to weigh the rivets. They just say, here's a bag of rivets. It's a half a pound. Great. I'll take your word for it. All I do is I make sure that the size is correct. And then I put it up. But these bags, these last ones you see here, these are all the ones with individual parts to, uh, to deal with. So Anyway, just counting out pieces. And I'm going to be doing that, I think, for just one more video. Uh, and then it's starting on the wings. So, see you soon.